The Oprah Winfrey Show began its historical 25 season run in September of 1986. I won't say my age at the time, but I was younger than I am now. When Miss Oprah Gail Winfrey hit our screen, I don't know that the world was prepared for the effect that she would have on us. The show was unique in that it aired more heartfelt and educational stories, steering away from the more popular tabloid TV genre. It was more human, and that was captivating. At that time, when most children might be outside playing, I was watching her show. She possessed a relatability, and she looked like me, my mother, my sister. I recall watching shows where Oprah would sit down with known racist people, go into white towns and host town hall meetings, topics where she tackled subjects such as rape and molestation. With one of her more memorable shows airing 200 men who were molested, coming together to take a stand against sexual abuse. It's a challenge to get one man to be that vulnerable, but Oprah had the magic touch. The show's impact on black culture and the world at large is undeniable. The Oprah Winfrey effect is a measurable term. We trust her. We believe her authenticity. If she mentioned a book, a store, or anything from her popular favorite things list, the sales of that item skyrocketed. She opened the Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy in South Africa in 2007, and to date has provided over 400 black men the financial means to graduate college via her now $25 million endowment to Morehouse College, a private all-male historical college in Atlanta, Georgia. She is the first and perhaps the only celebrity that I inspired to be like as a child. She gave me, and I suspect countless other black children, the permission to dream bigger. She had my attention, and I wrote her so many times that I probably was on some type of stalker list. You guys can take me out now. I'm Raven French, here with AfterBuzz TV, and we would like to thank The Oprah Winfrey Show and Oprah Winfrey for your contribution to black television and black culture.